Hey guys, Sizzle here, and before this video starts, I just want to say a couple things. Um, first off, a lot of these, the footage of these videos is going to be sped up because it's a lot more grindy and uninteresting stuff, as in just, you know, walking forward for 10,000 blocks with literally zero commentary. Um, and I've already got 10 episodes recorded, so there's going to be a good chunk of those. And um, the second one is that the audio for all 10 of those episodes is sort of messed up and there was a really loud sound instead of whatever was going on in Minecraft. So I apologize for that in advance. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy these videos and I'll see you later. Hey guys, Sizzle here. Today I'm going on 2B2T, the oldest Minecraft server of all time. Uh, oldest anarchy at least. And um, yeah. I'll just see where I can go. Probably gonna make this into a series. And, um, let's just head over to. Let's figure out where the best way to go is. Right now, we are at a really nice e Z axis, so I definitely do wanna head this way, as 600 is a very, very nice Z axis to start from. And then, hopefully, I'm probably going to start looking at nether portals close to maybe a thousand, a thousand blocks out. I'm going to stick to this water a little bit. Lower the better normally. At least that's what I've been doing with. There is a portal there, but I'm not sure if I should trust it. I guess I can, I could check it out. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to wait a little bit as far as portals go. And just try to wait until I'm at least at a thousand out. So, um, I'll probably cut to when I actually find 1,000 blocks out. So that's actually a shulker box. Can I break that with my hand? I don't think so, but it's worth a try. Honestly, it's better than not trying at all. Actually, I'll bring this crafting table too. So I actually have a shulker box now. I'm gonna put that away with everything else in the ender chest because there's millions of ender chests all over the place. So I'm gonna put this all away in the ender chest and this is a very nice find. I'm sort of happy I got a shulker box now. It's really useful for just general storage and keeping stuff safe. Right, so if I were to ever die, that I could come back again. So I just want to keep heading out this way. And the biggest, the most important thing to make sure you're doing when you're headed out is number one, avoid players at all costs, obviously. Uh, number two, be cautious with your nether portals, right? There's really, there's a lot that can go wrong. Um, and then... The last, the really important part is just to make sure that you preserve hunger by just walking. I think that's the best hunger per distance thing. I don't know if I trust this. How far out are we? We're close enough. I'm willing to trust it. I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, so now this is better. Give me the fuck up. There's someone headed up. I most definitely want to avoid that. So, the positive Z is that one. So next up, I need to get down. Just all the way down. Now this obsidian path here is awfully suspicious, but it might be my best bet for now to just sorta follow it out on the positive Z axis. It's actually reset our coordinates. We were at zero zero. So I'm going to actually have to move out this way. I'm gonna change my speed to V hop. V hop's too fast. 
just to boost. So I think boost is our best shot at getting as far as possible. Although this highway here is definitely really nice for trying to get out of spawn. And it does seem to tunnel through everything. So that's really nice. That's a, this is a nice find. And we'll see how far it really does go. This is definitely a really nice road, and hopefully there isn't just someone waiting at the end of it, and it looks like it actually just ended, so. This is, that was a very nice road though, it brought us 1,000 blocks out. That's huge, that, that's really just, you can't really put that in words. That's crazy, just how far it really did spit us out. And that road definitely made that journey way, way, way easier than it would have been had I had to go through the absolute hellhole of just, I mean, whatever the fuck, like the bedrock and the lava and everything above ground is just finding a bunch of players and just really nasty stuff that I don't really want to. However, it also has like chests and stuff, but us getting that shulker box was definitely really nice. <laughs> so we actually have some storage so that if we were to ever actually get somewhere and if we start getting stuff set up we'll have stuff in our ender chest so we can actually get out of spawn again so that's really the important part is being able to get out of spawn very nice so i'm gonna try to we just completely avoid this too because this is not good. That almost was horrible, that is. Are you kidding me? Well, while our progress was erased, we somehow got put out almost even further in the complete opposite direction so we gotta figure our way out of here this is the overground this is where i wasn't before and there's really no water here this time so i can't have an easy life getting through this area but this is definitely a better it's an okay spot is that open or is that like glitch oh, that's just a bunch of ender chests so I'm just gonna head out this way. I just accidentally closed Minecraft, but we're good. So it does seem now that I've respawned, there is another player. Oh, he has saplings. Oh, nice. I'm just gonna bring him with me on my journey. I do want to head out with this guy for a while, if not forever. So I'm going to get a couple blocks and just head on up to said highway. So as long as this does bring us toward, this is toward negative Z, and that's perfect. That's exactly where we want to go.
So we definitely want to go negative C. I'm not sure if we should trust this portal or not. I'm going to take his word for it. We're going to go. Hopefully this doesn't lead to an early death. Okay. So we have a pig. A pig spawner for food. So there actually is a good chunk of materials out here. So we actually found our first area. Before we go, let's read a look. Take a look at all the signs. Pause if you want to read any of this. Thank you to anyone who's helped make this. And um, yeah, why don't we leave our own sign? Well, it's finally time to say goodbye to this pig farm. After I kill one last pig. <laughs> and here we go. So now we have a lot more than we started off with, and I even got some flowers from the dig and <laughs> I went the wrong direction let me go catch up with them so I'm gonna end it off yeah, here we go <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this area. There's another pig spawner. Well, this one's a lot less of a nice area, but there's a lot of wood here. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode off here. I'll see you guys in the next one.